It's actually in Paris with the very latest. Not that there is a very latest at the moment, but Paul, what, how do the French people feel it's going to go? Yeah, morning and morning, Stephen. Uh, Saint-Denis is uh, the uh, patron saint of France, I believe. Uh, although, I'm going to be honest, I just Googled that. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's what uh, uh, I've just found out. But yeah, the people of France, how are they feeling? Well, it depends who you talk to, really. If you're a Macron supporter, you'll be voting for Macron and you'll be feeling confident because the polls give him a 10-point lead. If you're a supporter of Le Pen, you'll be thinking it's still possible we can win. Maybe not probable, but it is possible. Um, the key is it, uh, where 7.7 .7 million votes that went to the far left candidate, Jean-Luc Mélenchon, in the first round, where are they going to go? It's a, it's a big day tomorrow for, uh, obviously, for Emmanuel Macron. He's bidding to become the first uh, president since 2007 to be re-elected here in France. But it's a huge day as well for Marine Le Pen as well. This is her third shot at the presidency. It's really the culmination of an 11-year journey since she became uh, leader of her party, a process that a lot of French people here call a de diabolisation, which means the de-demonisation of Marine Le Pen, effectively a kind of softening of her image and her policies to increase her appeal. And it, 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 you can see that it has worked because her vote has uh, increased in the first round for this election compared to the previous two. So instead of calling for France to leave the European Union and leave the Euro, she's now talking uh, about remaining a member of the European Union, but reforming from within, strengthening France's borders, uh, getting tougher on immigration, increasing France's sovereignty, but still remaining a member of the European Union. She's not talking about an end to immigration. She's talking about toughening up immigration rules. She softened her image. She speaks softer now. She gave a much more composed uh, performance in the uh, recent televised debate and indeed when she talks when you look at her social media feed she, she has a lot more emphasis now on being a mother and on on the fact that she's a cat lover she owns six cats there's been a lot of that used in her promotional material in this election so there's a softening of her image you look at her campaign material it says marine pour la president no mention of the surname le pen because of her, her father's uh, uh, who used to be the party leader, uh, uh, gave very controversial anti-Semitic views, sort of kept her surname out of the campaign material. Uh, and so there's a kind of softening of her image. But her critics say she's still, uh, essentially, she may have softened her policies, but she's the things she's calling for are incompatible with being a member of the European Union. So essentially, she is still calling for Frexit. And they still uh, point to her and say that, look, she is a racist. She says, no, I'm not. But they say, look, she wants to ban the uh, hijab in public. Um, but they're not talking about uh, banning any other kind of religious symbols. And they also point to one of her flagship policies, Priority Nationale, uh, uh, giving national priority to housing, welfare and jobs for French people, which would also, again, be incompatible with EU law. So critics are saying she's divisive. That's why Emmanuel Macron was yesterday calling this a referendum for or against a secular, united, indivisible Republic, But Marine Le Pen will be hoping that uh, a lot of people who are unhappy with Emmanuel Macron's right-wing economic policies, such as wanting to increase the pension age to 65, she'll hope that that means a lot of people don't come out and vote. Uh, and that is why Emmanuel Macron uh, is saying there are millions of people who are thinking only a few hours or days before Brexit or Trump's election, why would we go? And then they woke up the next day with a hangover. So Macron's message is get out and vote tomorrow because, frankly, I'm not the other candidate. Mm. OK, Paul, thank you. Well, let's talk to